Hi everyone, welcome to this tutorial where we'll be painting a freehand wood grain pattern on the back of a Stormcast shield. Here are a few pictures of ones I've painted including today's. I've added planks to today's one as the feedback I received from the first was that shields are made of planks so it would be a bit more realistic. I'm planning to put out a video each month so make sure to subscribe so you don't miss future videos. I'm just going to show you the front of the shield, there is a PDF tutorial for that in the description. So anytime you're painting freehand it helps to have a reference to copy. I printed off this example wood grain I have found on Google so I can copy the pattern and create a more realistic wood grain. I know a knot would compromise the integrity of a shield, however I always feel that creating visual interest on a model will trump realism, but that is up to you. The colours I'm going to be using are Vallejo Black and Burnt Umber and then Scale 75 Walnut and Birch. It's a very simple recipe. So the first thing we're going to be doing is base coating the shield with Scale 75's Walnut. We'll then be base coating in the plank lines, not the wood grain, with a one-to-one -one mix of black and burnt umber. We want these to be the darkest sections on the shield so you can see that the wood grain is different in each plank really. We're just going to take it slow, use a sharp tip brush and if the line isn't perfectly straight as you'd like to go just go back in with walnut on either side and neaten the line up just take your time that's all it really is with freehanding things like this here i've thinned the same mix with some water and i'm just going to recess shade the panel that goes around the shield now using burnt umber just by itself it's time to paint the wood grain pattern so just remember to keep any examples you've got in front of you and keep checking while you're painting. It will make it so much easier to just straight copy that thing. It's going to make the freehand much easier for you and more believable for anyone looking at the model. I'm starting with a knot as it's going to be a focal point and I'll be able to paint the lines around it first and create a nice little section on the shield that your eye is drawn to immediately. You don't need super straight lines with these uh, wood grain lines. Any wiggles will help create the realism, so that's, that's a nice and easy thing with painting wood grain. Now using a one-to-one -one mix of walnut and birch I'm going to edge highlight the sides of the shield and then thinly highlight one side of each wood grain line. This helps create a 3D surface and shows the light direction for the highlight. If you highlight both sides it just won't look right and won't come across as 3D wood grain. So you only want to highlight one side and make sure that you keep that consistent across the entire shield. For the plank lines I'm just using pure birch to help them stand out a bit more from the wood grain. Okay so now we will be tinting the wood with some inks to enhance the colour. Now scale 75 does make a wood coloured ink but I myself don't own it. However using a one part brown ink to two part sepia ink you can create a nice woody colour that's pretty close to the colour that that ink provides. The most important step to this entire thing is this one, because right now the colours that we've put onto the shield look a little flat. This tint is going to enhance the wood colour that we're looking for and it's really going to make it pop out. 
you'll see here the kind of color that I'm going for I'll paint in a few lines there on the wet palette I'm gonna thin this about five parts water to create a glaze now a good tip when using a glaze is to tap your brush to a paper towel uh, I'm going to show you here just in a second. If the colour explodes out, then it's a good dilution for a glaze. If it doesn't, then you need to thin it a bit more. This is useful because whenever you're using a glaze, whenever you load up your brush, you need to tap it to the paper towel to remove most of it. You want very little amount of paint on your brush when you're using a glaze. So what we're going to do now is just going to put this over the entire shield and give it a nice tint colour. Now that the shield has dried, I gave it a coat of varnish to remove some of the shine that inks have. Um, I've used Ultra Matte Varnish from AK Interactive, but you can just use whichever you have. The final step is to go back to our one-to-one -one mix of Walnut and Birch, and we're gonna reinforce some of the highlights that the ink has reduced in intensity. You don't need to do all of them, just pick out a few of the specific ones that you think could do with, with having a bit of extra brightness, just to kind of make the wood grain stand out a bit more and that's pretty much everything um, I hope you've enjoyed this tutorial make sure to subscribe for future ones coming along and I'll hopefully see you in the next one bye